Hi friends, it's Deanna here today and today we're sewing up this really cute top. This is the Adventurous Mock Neck slash Hoodie Pattern. I already sewed up the hoodie version, the asymmetrical hood version with the color blocking and today I thought we'd go super simple and sew up the mock neck. It is such a quick sew and it makes such a big statement and I will tell you that the neck is so comfortable. I'm not usually a turtleneck type of person but this one fits really great so I recommend it. Let's get to sewing. I'm going to show you how quick it is and um, yeah let's do it. <laughs> Alright, this is quite a simple sew and that is one of the things that I love because I love easy, simple, quick sews that turned out amazing. I'm using this really nice um, crushed velvet knit um, I got from Olga's Closet. So I think this is going to be a little bit of a fancier top and I'm here for it. So I've got my bodice. So here's my bodice. I think this is, yeah, this is my front and I've got my back. Um, and we're going to place them on top of each other at the shoulders of right sides together. I'm going to be using my serger to sew this project up, but um, you can use your sewing machine and use a, any kind of stretch stitch that you would like on your sewing machine. I prefer more of a um, like a zigzag stitch because it's a little bit wider. Um, lightning bolt stitch is good too or you can use stretch thread and do a straight stitch that works well as well um, and there's a triple stitch I mean there's all kinds of stitches you can use for uh, knit sewing on your sewing machine after I do the shoulders I like to go ahead and prep my bands as well so I'm going to grab my neck band this is I'm doing the mock turtle um, and so I'm going to fold it right sides together at the short raw edge and meet those right sides together right here and sew that. Um, I like to prep everything at the same time. That way it seems like a really quick sew. And then I'm also going to do the same for my cuffs. I'm folding them. They're already folded because I cut them folded. But I'm folding them right sides together and sewing the short raw edge. Because that way these are prepped. And then I just have to sew my sides after I sew my shoulders. Sew my sleeves in. Sew my, sh my sides. And then attach my cuffs and hem. Like literally super quick sew. So we are done sewing those shoulders. I'm going to put my cuffs and my neckband aside. As you can see here, this back is a little bit uh, shorter. This front is lower. So that's how you can tell which one's the front and the back if you didn't mark it. I put it right side up and I'm going to grab my sleeve. This section here is called the arm side. This is where your arm is going to go. Your shoulder. This is your shoulder seam here. And we're going to grab our sleeve. Now I marked my sleeve when I was cutting it and I did like a little triangles, two triangles here to show me this is the back. And I've got my little triangle here to show me this is the middle where my seam is going to go. So I'm going to place that there and then I'm going to match them right sides together and I'm going to sew all the way down to one side and then all the way down the other side, matching those seams right sides together. And I'm going to do that for both sleeves. Now that my sleeves have been sewn in, we're going to match up those side seams and we're going to sew the sides matching up that seam right here where my armpit is going to go and then going all the way down the front and down my sleeve, right sides together. All right, now that those sides are sewn, I'm going to turn this right side out and we're going to attach our cuffs and our neckband and we'll be done. To get the perfect neckband, we're going to quarter our band, grabbing the shoulder seams, matching them together. What I like to do is grab my scissors and do a little snip right here, big enough for me to see it when I'm attaching my band, but small enough that I will still eat it with my seam allowance. And then we're gonna go to the front, do the same thing. Then I'm gonna match that front and back that I just marked and go to the sides. Those are my quarters. All right, so now once that's done, I'm gonna do the same thing for my neckband. I'm gonna fold my neckband wrong sides together. 
this back seam right here is going to be on my back. So then I match up once the edges are uh, together, those raw edges are matched up evenly here. Get them all together. I'm gonna start and fold it and here's my back seam. So we're gonna go to the front and mark that. Then I'm gonna match the front and back and mark my quarters, my sides. And now we're gonna match up those to my neck, right sides together. Once they've been matched right sides together, we're gonna sew it all around the raw edge. And I'm gonna do the same for my sleeve, except for on my sleeve, I'm only doing half, marking my halves because it's a smaller piece. So I think a half is good enough. But I do the same with my cuffs, fold them wrong sides together, match the seam and then ma mark the half and then attach the right sides together. All right, y'all remember at the beginning I said this was a super easy sew. This is literally all there is to it. Now I'm also just gonna go ahead and prep my hem. Um, usually you wanna steam, but because this is this nice crushed velvet, either I can come back with my um, Put like a cloth on top of it to be careful or i'm just going to fold it at the half inch and um sew it slowly i don't want to burn my fabric so you you need to be careful when you're steaming your fabric to take into consideration what the fabric is so you don't end up burning it and so i'm just gonna try it's being really nice um and letting me handle it so hopefully i can just hem it without even having to steam it and then i'll just steam it at the end um but if you do have to steam make sure that you are careful with the settings because the last thing you want to do is sew up your top and then end up burning a hole into it because um your iron setting was a little too hot um also i said this was an easy sew and this is it this is this is the last of it uh, we're gonna go do all this and then i'm gonna show you just exactly what this looks like i'm super excited about it i think it's going to be adorable when I'm sewing my neck pin, I start in the back and I situate that down. I go to the next quarter point, the first quarter point, make sure all my edges are touching. So that way um, you don't have any gaps. And then so do the same on all my other quarter points. Once I'm done sewing, I turn it around and I check it to make sure I have no gaps before I move on. The cool thing about this project is that you could do it all on your serger. You don't even have to hem. It does come with a band option. I am not doing the banded option. I'm just doing the hemmed option. But if you wanted to, you could do the band option. And then all you would do is attach the band at the bottom of the top, just like I'm attaching these bands. And um, you would be good to go. Here's a little tip. Um, when I was cutting my pattern for this one, I knew that this, that's just a piece of thread that I'm going to have to cut out. I knew that this fabric would be a little bit rolly at the edges um, when I'm trying to sew it together and when I'm pulling it, see how it kind of rolls a little bit. Um, when I cut my pattern, I, I, I essentially cut my sleeve about a quarter inch longer than I needed to for uh, to have an extra seam allowance here so I could let it roll a little bit and just cut that off um, and not have to worry about uh, it being ended up ending up too short. Um, so that's a little extra tip of something that I did um, just to help me with the rolling. Uh, you can add starch to your fabric to keep it from rolling, uh, but because this is a uh, velvet, I uh, didn't want to do that. Now, here's one thing, one reason why notching it is so important. My clip just fell off because this is also a very silky fabric and i have no idea where it's supposed to go so the good thing though is that i marked those notches here's the notch so i know oh there it is let's put them together so now i don't have to take it off my sewing machine and go back and and figure it out um, i just have those notches and it helps me to keep it straight i am using my cover stitch for hemming um, I love using the cover stitch, but again, obviously you do not have to use a cover stitch. You can use your sewing machine on a triple stitch or a zigzag stitch or a double needle or something like that. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. We are all done. I think it turned out super cute. It's such a cute uh, dressier version with this fabric, but I made this pattern in a uh, sweater knit, and it is super comfy, too, to wear with jeans and whatnot. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment below and let me know um, if you've already sewed up this pattern or if you're going to sew it up. And if you are going to sew it up, which version are you going to try next? Um, let me know if you thought it was as super quick and easy as I said it was going to be. Um, and yeah, come share it with us on our Facebook um, and our Instagram. Tag us if you're going to share it. We'd love to see it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.